Hello! We continue with sliders in this video and learn about the slider element. Unlike the full-width block slider, the slider element is usually smaller and is only a component in a block, similar to sliding cards, for example, testimonials. Each slide in the slider element can have a different layout and set of elements. You can add the slider element from the Add panel. Click the Add button on the top bar and go to the Slider section. Select the slider element in the list, which you will add with the default settings. You can also see the related elements like Product Carousel, Repeated Carousel, and Image Gallery, which are not sliders as a matter of fact. However, they look similar to sliders and accessing them from this section is also convenient. You can also find the box hover slider effect, which we discussed in the dedicated video. The quickest way to add the slider element to a website is to use a preset. Scroll down the sliders list to the presets. Note that by scrolling down more, you can see the ready-made designs, which you can also use. Select the slider preset. Please comment on how you prefer to add sliders, like elements, presets, or designs. Unlike the full-width block slider, which shows slides on the thumbnail pane below, the slider element has tabs to switch slides. Click the tabs to test. You can add the new slide by clicking the plus icon in the slider tabs. Add elements into the slide. Click the context plus icon. Go to the image section. Choose the circle image and change it. Then press the Alt T and Alt 4 to add the text and heading 4 elements. Edit text and center the slide content horizontally and vertically. Duplicate the current slide by pressing the Ctrl D hotkey or differently with the tab options. Click the arrows on the toolbar or drag the slide tab to change the slide order. You can delete a slide by pressing the Del key clicking the bucket icon or using the option. Please comment if you like our video lessons and what we can improve. Similar to the full-width block slider, there are three main property groups – slider, arrows, and indicators. In the slider group, you can set the autoplay on load, pause on hover, interval, duration, and the animation type. Change the slider animation to Fade. Switch to the Arrows group. Click on the Square Arrow preset. Then, change the arrow size and shape radius. You can enable and modify the slide indicators in the Indicators group. Change the border and colors for the slider indicators. Switch to the Mobile Views to test how your slider element looks on various modern device screens. Publish or do a quick preview to see the slider element on the live site. We have finished with the slider element and the sliders in general. Please comment on what you would like to discuss in our next videos. Subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoy our work. Thank you for watching!